This is my morning. My fire went out because I took a little nap. But I got up and I started it again. Now, this to me is life. And the only thing missing actually is a wood stove uh, insert in there and and the, the you know, maybe 100 miles <laughs> separating me from this place to the next. Somewhere where there are no neon lights and where there aren't as many people and where there are actually natural springs coming right out of the depths of the mountain that has been untouched by man. That is what's missing. With a nice clear meadow and some good soil that I can grow my seed in. That is what's missing. This is what the people of North Dakota are fighting for. It's much larger than just the Mississippi River and the Missouri River. It's much larger than the treaties that have been broken and the people that have been brutalized. It's much larger than that. For when you step back and you look, you take your attention away from that and you look around at what is actually happening and you can see that the waters and the lands are intentionally being poisoned. That is indeed what is happening here. And when that happens, then that means one company or corporation or group of people will own the rights to all the clean water and they will own the rights to all of the food that is able to be grown and the rest of us who no longer have jobs because they're not needed because the rich won't need us to fill their pockets any longer we won't have anything or any means to purchase this food or this water and then we will die. If you cannot see the possibility of that coming down the road because you're so comfortable in your current situation and if you can't look at your children's lives and wonder where they're going to be when they are your age and what they are going to have to be dealing with and not just them, but their children. What are their children going to have to be dealing with because of our current actions or non-actions? If you can just pull your head away from the television and away from the smallness of these things that they are distracting you with and start really seeing the big picture of the, of the possible future that is being built right here and right now, then perhaps you might consider your next move. 